Hey y'all, so welcome back. So by the title, you know we're doing another Shein haul. So we got a few pieces. Um, so this go round, um, I wanted to add um, some more casual dresses. You know, if you're just going out casually, but you want to still be cute, still be sexy. Um, these are pieces that you can dress down. Um, that's that's what I got them for intended to dress down. Um, you can wear with sneakers, wear with slides, wear with um, sandals. Um, you can wear with, you know, your Yeezys. You can wear with your, um, you know, anything. Nikes. Um, you can wear with anything. So I wanted to do some, some looks for some cute um, casual dresses. So, um, two of them I got, I think, are more of what, I guess what you would consider, what would I consider that? Graphic dresses. Kind of like a graphic tee, but it's a graphic, uh, dress. Uh, okay, so I wanted to give it a try, see how they fit. Um, so I do believe, let me see, just to be sure so I'm not <laughs> telling stories. So I do believe all of these I got in a 4X, but let me be sure. Yeah, yeah, so this one I'm seeing. So I think I def definitely got them all in the 4X. All right, so if you are interested in seeing these looks and these fits, stay tuned. So now the first, um, the first dress I got was, it is a black, dress and all of these dresses are pretty short they're pretty short definitely short on me so this one says um meet the most beautiful self and it says chicago um and it is from shein and it's a size 4x as you can see there okay um i love this is a cotton material as you can see it's just a cotton material um, not the thinnest, but not the thickest either, but it is a cotton material. Um, so, and it is, let's see. And you'll be able to see on me <laughs> exactly how it falls and, and where it stops. Um, because, um, like I said, I am tall. So sometimes when I'm looking at short dresses, I am a little worried. Um, I'm a little worried to, to make sure that they pass the bottom. Um, also, uh, a lot of times, you know, if you're a bottom heavy, it tends to jack the dress up a little bit and make it a little shorter than it would have been. So, um, this dress is so cute. Like I said, it's just a graphic T style dress. Um, it's just a straight cut and it is cotton. Um, I really love styling this, of course, um, to me. You can definitely, you got that orange and that uh, purple. Um, you can, you know, bring out the purple in it. You can bring out the orange in it. Different things like that. Um, so what I did was, is with this outfit, I did it with my, my Uggs. So my Ugg platforms that I, I think I featured in a different video again. If you've missed some of, you know, some of your girl's videos, go check them out. Go check them out. Check me out, you know, show me some love. Thank you. Um, so there was some Uggs that I showed that I got for my birthday, again, um, cancer season. Um, so I got them for my birthday a little, little over a month ago. Um, I got some Ugg platforms, so I did style it with those. I thought it was really, really cute. Um, and then I did do my orange um, sunglasses with it. Um, and it looked really, really cute. So like I said, if you dress down, but you're still very, very cute. Um, you could also, like I said, because I'm tall and sometimes with shorter dresses, I like to um, account for that. Um, you can do a long line jean jacket with it. Um, you can do a, um, what am I trying to say? Goodness. Just <laughs> lost my train of thought. You can do a um, cardigan. You can do a cardigan with it, um, just to kind of, you know, give a, give some, you know, you know, 
give you a little coverage if you need a little bit because maybe the dress is a little a little bit short um again um for measurements i am about 5'10 5'10 to 5'11 ish somewhere in there um so like I said, a lot of times I do like to add extra pieces just for that reason. Sometimes, you know, if you, you know, if you're out, you know, you don't want to feel like your business is, you know, if you have to bend over for any reason, you don't want to feel like your business is out on Front Street. So a lot of times I do like to add layers just for that reason, me personally, um, because I'm tall. I've always been tall, so you know, I just kind of find ways, you know, that I can wear a short dress and and not feel like I'm. Exposed. I got you know. If I if I have to bend over, if the wind blows, something <laughs> might. So, so with that, that is how I styled it. Like I said, it's a lot of different ways. Again, remember all of these casual um, dress down type of pieces. You can always dress up. Um, with this, I would dress up with. Um, I would do like some. Um, what do they call? Like the net stockings or tights. And also, you can um, go ahead and also transition them to fall. I would do like the mesh or mesh uh, leggings, do a booty with a little heel. You can do a booty with no heels. I have some boots with no heels that'll be real cute with that as well. Um, and then add a jacket, you know, transition it to fall. Also, like I said, you can dress it up, add a heel to it, add a, um, a fedora to it, dress it up, make it cute. Um, I would also say with this one, um, you can also add a leather, a leather um, biker jacket or a moto jacket um, to give it that a little more of a dressy biker flair. I, I like that look too. So this will probably be transitioning all of these, not probably, all of these will be transitioning with me into fall. So like I said, I do find ways where there are, that I'm able to transition most of my pieces into fall. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that first um, dress. And we're going to move into the second one. So, now, the um, the second dress that I'm going to show you all, which I fell in love with as soon as like, you can probably see, you can see from the video. I fell in love with this dress. So, it is a tie-dye. It is a tie-dye. It's a blue um, with like a cream, um, an off-white cream color. It's a, a, a really dark navy blue. Um, it is a short dress and it is strapless. Okay, it's strapless. Also, she in size 4XL. Um, and I just like to show everybody that just because I don't want anybody wondering if I, you know, if I fabricate, fabricate the sizes I wear, I do. Um, so, it is a 4XL. And it is a tie-dye dress. Y'all, I fell in love with this as soon as I put it on. I felt, I felt like a bag. I was like, I was in love. I fell in love. I said, you know what? I got to get a few more dresses like this. Um, that And, and for, for whatever, like I said, I probably said it in other videos. I know I have. That I am so into stuff that, you know, exposes the shoulders. Whether it's one shoulder, whether it's both. It exposes the shoulders and the chest. Like, I love that look. Like, it just makes me feel so sexy. And so, I just love that look. Um, so, I think that that probably took this over the top for me. Um, now, it is like a ribbed material, if you can see. Um, it does have like a ribbing to it. And the pattern is different all the way through with the hem on the bottom. So this is so cute. Um, and I paired this, of course. I had I have some um, brown tortoise type um, sun, sunglasses or shades. So I paired that with the brown tortoise type sunglasses. Um, a jean jacket, so I did um, more of my crop jean jacket, but any jean jacket could work. Um, I did do a dark denim jean jacket because it is a darker blue, um, but of course, like I said, any jean jacket would work, um, and the shoes, I, um, I tried it on with my Yeezys, so my Yeezys, and let me show you, because I don't think I, I got these two as a part of the birthday 
and I'm dropping stuff. So the Yeezys, and I don't warm y'all. I don't warm. <laughs> I warm a few times and they are very comfortable, but I did get these for my birthday as well. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let me show them. I don't think I've shown them the Yeezys, but I have worn a few times. Okay. Um, so I padded with the, with the Yeezys um, and a jean jacket. Like I said, you could also do a, a nude sandal. You can do a black sandal. You can, you know, you can do it any any way. But for whatever reason, I felt like, you know, let me. I was like, let me slide on my ye my uh, foam my foam runners and see what that looks like. And I like that look. It was cute. Like I said, the the go the go to um, for this particular um, haul and what I was going for was like just simple, casual. Um, dress down but still cute um, you know um, I also did get a few uh, more date night pieces that will be featured in a different haul so stay tuned um, but I am in love I love this I will be getting me some more of these um, and I think I want some longer line I do I like longer dresses on me too so I think I might get some and those will transition really well into fall as well um, uh, some longer lined um, strapless type dresses um, you know that fit well to the body um, both of these dresses this one especially I feel like I could have probably um, sized down to a 3x just so it fit a little better but like I said I have to account for how tall I am and and everything um, just to make sure that it's not too short and it turns into a shirt on me that happens real quick it turns into a shirt on me, okay? Um, so, that's this one. And it is, like I said, it was gorgeous. Um, I'm also going to um, have the prices. I want to say, and I'm a frugal girl, y'all. I am always, um, always for saving a dollar, saving the coin. Um, so, I want to say none of these dresses were more than $20. I want to say they were less than 20 a piece. I want to say they were less than 20 a piece. Um, but yeah, so y'all let me know how y'all feel about that dress and how it looked on me. Like I said, I fell in love immediately. I fell in love. All right, so we're on to the okay. next one. So now we are here with dress number three. Okay, so dress number three. So it is like a... Because it kind of gives burnt orange somewhat. Um, now, when I saw it on the Shein site, I did think it was more of a brown. Um, more of a caramel brown, but a brown. Um, but it is, it does give a mix between burnt orange and caramel brown. It's a mix. So, this one does say Los Angeles, California. Um, this one is a different material from the first graphic tee type of dress now this one is more of it's not a cotton this is more of a stretch so it clings a little more to the body so let's see so it is just a little bit more flattering than the black one to me just because it clings to the body just a little bit more um and like i said it ain't everybody's thing and everybody's cup of tea and everybody you know but, I, you know, I like for it to, you know, to hug me in the, the, all the right place. It also, it's, it's also also going to hug you in the wrong places too. But what can we do? So, you know, it, it's hugging you in the right places and then it also hugs you in the wrong places. But, hey, that, you know, that's kind of what we're dealing with. Um, so, this one is in a 4XL as well. All right. And it says Los Angeles. Now, this one, I definitely wanted to show you all um, different ways to style it. Um, so, I think I did um, I did style it two separate ways and showed you both ways. Um, also, showing you how it can transition into fall. Now, the um, long-lined, um, I guess it would be plaid. The long-lined plaid, um, not a kimono. I guess it would be cardigan or duster. Duster that I had it on with in the first clip. 
Um, it's also from Shein. So that's a Shein find that I got like last fall when I had, you know, when I, you know, got a few um, outerwear pieces, um, you know, just to add to my wardrobe. Um, and I thought the browns, the, the orange rust went so well together. And I thought it was really cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I thought it was really cute. So I paired it with that and I also tried it again with uh, the foam runners and I really, really like that look. I also inserted my nice sunglasses again, Amazon, okay? Those sunglasses um, and I thought that shade was really, really cute. And then I wanted to also show you the other way I would style it. Um, I did do the... Um, the men's button-up type of shirt. Um, also, I mean, you could do a women's button-up, but I think for me, because I'm looking, I, you know, when I'm looking for it to do a button-up to go over something, I'm looking for it to be oversized. And a lot of times in women's stuff, because I am on the higher spectrum of women size clothing um, in a 4X, um, between 3X normally and 4X, that I would have to find something 5, 6X for me to feel like it's oversized. So that's why I gravitate towards like a men's shirt just because it's easier for me to find it oversized. And like I said in one of my other videos, um, Goodwill, um, a consignment shop, a thrift store um, where you can find some of those tops to add to your wardrobe just to add to an outfit. Like I said, um, you know, if your arms are out and you're a little bit, um, a little bit, um, Come on, Daniki. <laughs> you're a little bit um, to where you're uncomfortable. That, that's uncomfortable, Daniki. You're uncomfortable with your arms being out. That's a good way to cover your arms. Um, like I said, with a um, a shirt, a, a kimono, a cardigan, um, anything like that is a good way to kind of cover the arms, different things like that. Um, so, you know, if it gives a little more security, why not? Um, so like I said, I do like to pick up a lot of those from the Goodwill. I go there, um, you know, maybe every other weekend and kind of just see what finds I see. Like I said, I do like uh, to, to thrift shop and see what I can find. So I do buy from fast fashion websites and I also thrift in the meantime as well. Um, I became more of a thrifter because of my, my two youngest daughters, to, to be honest. So they both are uh, very into more of vintage wear. They like things um, that are not geared towards fast fashion. Their, their style is different and I support that. I support them expressing themselves, you know, through their clothes and however they like to. Um, so they're not, they're not into, um, a lot of the basic fast fashion, um, even down to the shoes. Like my 15 year old, she, uh, wanted Mary Jane's and I looked down like those shoes are hideous <laughs> and I still feel really hideous, but she showed me the way she liked to style them and her, that's her style. And I was like, I, I see, I guess I see where you're going with it, but she liked it. Mary Jane's my 12 year old she like platform type of shoes um so kind of like the ones rock and roll uh people wear <laughs> she liked those so for back to school she wanted the converse i forgot the name of them because uh we got them they just we had to get them um we had to order them they didn't have them in store in her size so we had to order them have them shipped in um so she got the converse the ones with the not the regular platform but uh, the name if I remember it I'm gonna pop the name up there for you all once um but we got the ones with the the the, the zigzag type of bottom um so she she just you know that that sounds a little different and so when I went in, in there with them one time I was like huh so I'm looking and I'm looking at different things and and I'm like yeah that's a good idea I can get some of those men's shirts and I can get them oversized and you know so that's kind of where that came in um 
But yeah, just a little tip about, you know, different styles and things like that. Everybody's not into the fast fashion. I get that. Um, like I said, my, my older daughter is. She's more, you know, of um, the basic fast fashion type of style. Um, along with, she does like streetwear. She likes streetwear a lot um, with the Jordans and the... Um, and the Nikes and the um, Jordan 1s and the streetwear type of things um, or fast fashion. So I have three different, <laughs> three different personalities, three different styles, three that they're just, they're, they're all different. Um, but like I said, it definitely um, opens my eyes to different styles, that there's different styles out there. Okay. So, so with this one, like I said, I definitely, um, with this dress, um, I definitely showed you different ways. So I did the, um, and that's that's how that all came about. I did the white men's button up and I did um, just some white flats that I got off of Amazon probably a couple of years ago. Just some white flats. Um, and it's, it's simple, but cute. Very simple, but cute. Um, so also y'all let me know um, what your thoughts um, were was about this very last dress as well. Um, so that concludes that's that's our three um, three looks there that we definitely uh, looked at and talked about. So um, y'all let me know, leave some comments. Um, you know, leave me some likes. It helps me out a lot. Um, leave some comments. Um, subscribe. Any um, anybody watching? Definitely subscribe if you want to see more um, of what's to come. Like I said, I have more hauls, um, more vlogs, and I'll definitely be having some videos concerning my hair to come as well. So definitely stay tuned. Thank you all again um, to all of my uh, returning subscribers. Thank you, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. All right. So y'all stay safe, stay blessed, um, and take care until next time. Bye guys.